Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at sidechain effects by Four Pockets and how to set up uh, vocal ducking. So this, this will be a fairly short tutorial on just how to set up that effect with your sidechain effects from Four Pockets. Okay, so you know, the idea is here that when you speak, the music that's playing gets quieter so that they can hear you so for, it's, it's for djs or or bloggers or anyone doing podcasts stuff like that this is super handy and really very easy to set up so first of all here the track that you want to affect which in this case is a, a track from uh, me and colin from the new album the track that you want to affect so the track that you want to get quieter as you're talking you want to put the main effect there so the side chain effects that's it open that there first <clears throat> and make sure that you select preset like one so there's three presets the limiter the side chain one side chain two select one okay and you'll be in bus two okay so this is this is quite important but i'll explain that in a sec then your settings here these are these are important as we shall see when we start to play the track but at this setting here, this is ideal for what I want to do. So if you wanted to kind of just copy that there, ratios on about eight thresholds on minus 40 dB, attacks five milliseconds, fast attack. But I'll show you why. Release 100 milliseconds, need 30%, gain 3 dB. Basically, that's it. That's, that's all you need. Uh, it'll kind of default to this almost this graph will give you an idea of what the compressor is actually doing as well now in the vocal channel here the microphone channel we want to tap on our effects slot here and where it says multibus audio instances we open this and choose side chain effects here and you'll see that it says number two there this is the the bus input bus if you had it on number three or none it, this this just wouldn't work, okay? So you wouldn't you wouldn't get the effect at all. But if you have it on number three, make sure that your bus here is set to number three, so it's set to two, and we're all right there because we know that this is also set to two, as you can see from number there. Okay, so let's run the track, and I'll give you an idea how this works. Well, you'll you'll hear how it works straight away. So now when I speak, the music gets quieter. As soon as I stop talking, it comes back in. The speed at which it comes in and goes away is down to the attack and release. Okay, so with, with, with something like this, that was a bit harsh. The music was coming in too quickly. So we pull the release up like this. Okay, now this this and this are the same instance of the app this is just a representation of what's going on with the side chain okay so you're not opening two side chain effects it's just the one okay so let's try this again with the release set there okay so now when i stop talking i've still got time if i wanted to pause before it kicks back in i can go even further and I could say like, well, what do you think of this one? It's pretty cool, right? And then it just back in slower. So obviously it's still gonna drop down to the same volume level I have it set. And this is down to the threshold. So the lower the threshold, the quieter the backing track. So that's going to be pretty quiet when I'm speaking now. If you have the threshold really high, you're not going to hear a lot of difference when I stop speaking. When I start to speak, the music will be too loud. So let's try that out. That's not enough. Ridiculous, now I'm hardly hearing any effect. So key here is low threshold, ratios cool beans, and the attack is how fast the effect will kick in. So the higher the attack, the longer it will take to kick in. Really high attack and it kicks in slower. So quicker attack. The 
longer release is much better for this kind of thing. And that, guys, is basically it. Well, you see, things like this are ideal for people like me. If I, if I had a track and I was talking over it or something, it, to save me messing around with the faders and anything else, or trying to do this in post, in the video editor, this is much easier to set it up like this as a as a preset sort of thing and start from there. Which is very cool beans. Anyway, so I, that's basically how you do that. So we can stop that now. And yeah, so sidechain effects from Four Pockets and, and literally just how to set up <coughs> um, vocal ducking, uh, the effect for vocal ducking. So... Yes, very cool. So just remember that the track that you want to affect, like whether it was be be a synth or a drum machine or something, or or like a a music track like this, make sure that the main side chain effect goes onto that slot, and then what you like maybe this was a kick drum or uh, whatever else or some sort of drum pattern, and you wanted it to affect this. Make sure that this isn't this. And also make sure that your bus sends match. Okay, so for instance, a quick a quick example of that would be if I start to play this now. Okay, so that's okay, but let's change the actual bus to three. And now when I talk, you're not hearing anything. Unless I set the buses the same on each channel. So there you go, a quick tutorial on how to set up sidechain uh, side chain compression, basically, true sidechain compression uh, for vocal ducking, for DJs, vloggers, whatever else. <laughs> Maybe you're running a podcast and you've got 20 people talking at the same time and you want them to, you want to override all of them, you just set your sidechain to, uh, <laughs> to the channels that they're coming in. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron. I'll put a link in for sidechain effects in the description below. And it, yes, yes, cool beans. I think that's, that's it. I mean, a lot of you will know I'm not a great, big, massive fan of the kick drum sidechain compression on a mix. It, it, to me, it sounds unpleasant, but I mean, it has its place, obviously, in EDM and stuff like that, but too much of it just makes me feel sick. But that doesn't mean I don't like sidechain or I don't know how to do it, <laughs> as someone suggested in a comment. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There you go. There you go. Sidechain effects by Four Pockets. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta.